What's up, my tribe? It's me, Salia, Salia Marie, 1243, your fairy tarot sister. It's been a while. It's been a while, okay? But it's okay. I'm back. I'm better than ever. And um, today we're going to be talking about what your higher self wants to tell you. Um, let me see. Let me let me get some admin notes together. Um, I am doing a giveaway. Um, this is of course a timeless read. Um, but if you're seeing this before I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, hopefully that's very soon. Um, I'm giving away two of these Moonology 2021 diaries, guys. We need to get rid of these i don't want to say get rid of but we need to give these away i bought them with my very own money i want to send them to people but i said that i would do it once i reach a thousand so i have two of these to give away and then i have two um spell casting decks this is what the back of the cards look like they're very popular oracle cards i don't know what happened to the uh box but I have one deck that I use and I bought one deck for whoever out there is gonna so the first step to um, winning one of those is making sure that you're subscribed here on my YouTube and then also following me on Instagram and then I will be making more announcements from there later on so um, but we will be getting into the reading this is like I said a higher self reading what's your higher self needs to let you know what what you need to know from your higher self um i feel like a lot of things are kind of like wild right now at the time of filming this uh a lot of people have been talking about like super wild energy all over the place and i think sometimes when there's a lot going on astrologically or just energetically um it can be hard to kind of get in alignment so that we can um, open up our crown chakra and talk to our higher self um, very clearly so this is going to assist with that um, there's three piles um, I'm using three different decks um, number one the first pile is going to be um, this deck and here's the corresponding uh, thingy thing what you call you know, crystal. <laughs> it's a tiger's eye. Okay, so that's for pile one. All right, take a couple deep breaths, choose. Um, for pile two is gonna be my trusty dusty everyday tarot deck. And, ooh, this is interesting. Okay, and then this is rose quartz. It's really light, it kinda looks more like, okay, anyway, it's rose quartz. <laughs> And then, this is one of my new favorite decks. This is the Modern Witch Tarot, um, and this is Amethyst. Okay, so that's number three. So go ahead, pause if you need to, meditate on what pile you need to do, and we will go ahead and get right into it. Move those aside. Um, we'll start with our dear friend, the tiger eye pile one what does your higher self need to need to tell you i love this deck i've been using it a lot it's really 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 pretty let's see what does your higher self need to know or what is your higher self? What do you need to know from your higher self? Y'all know what I did. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Interesting, okay. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups. All right, what the Queen of Cups is telling me, I feel like your higher self wants you to know that I think you need to kind of hug your energy. Oops, oh my gosh. Maybe things are getting a little crazy, a little chaotic, out of, out of hand, out of order, but I'm feeling like you're needing to, like, see how she's holding on to this cup. 
I feel like that's how you need to be kind of like hugging your energy right now. I feel like you guys need to kind of be a little bit maybe more to yourself than usual. Um, maybe there's just kind of like a lot going on. I heard, I heard trouble in the water. I don't know. Water corresponds with cups, cups, emotions, love. Maybe there's some like crazy stuff going on in love. Um, but I think your higher self wants you to know to just kind of like, it's okay. Like I feel like if you wanna, if you wanna stay home from doing something, people are inviting you out and it just doesn't feel right, listen to that intuition, okay? Cause I do feel like you're kind of wanting to retreat I feel like maybe you embarrassed yourself in some way. Something happened where you like have embarrassed yourself. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. And you are thinking about people's perception of you. Um, I'm getting that like people, it's not the way that you think it looks to people. Whatever has happened that you've recently done, maybe you did something where you felt like you messed up at work or school or in some way you messed up I feel like you're being harder on yourself than everybody else actually is on you so like if you said something I feel like whoever that is who you're dealing with I feel like they're not they're not hanging on to it as much as you are I feel like maybe they are still kind of like upset or angry or whatever but like you're the way that you feel about this is way more harsh than what they're actually feeling like you're kind of harboring those feelings okay and then we have this nine of cups nine of cups i actually want to get a little clarification on it because i have an idea but not quite clear um yeah okay so it's kind of it's kind of in alignment with the first card, the Queen of Cups. The Nine of Cups is kind of telling you to, like, just sit back. Like, chill. Don't feel like you need to do everything all at once. Like, I, I think I did a message like this recently on my, um, I did an oracle poll on my Instagram page that was, like, very similar, okay? Just, just kind of chill. Like, be, be happy. Like, see how her hand is on her face like she's just like just chill like you don't gotta do so much okay and then this five of wands came out um in reverse don't stress do not stress i feel like you're making a big deal out of something there is something happening where you have made it just like this really big deal i think you're scared of something um it's really interesting the tiger's eye a lot of times um is for like protection so maybe you're just feeling like scared of something there's some kind of situation that you're scared to face um your higher self wants you to know like don't stress about this don't overthink it um just kind of relax it's not as bad as you think and it's okay to kind of hug your energy right now Okay, um, let me get a couple more tarot cards before we get into Oracle. What else does Pile 1 need to know? The Wheel of Fortune, okay. It's in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Wands. The Hanged Man. Interesting. Okay, so... I feel like for a lot of my a lot of my pile ones, your freaking life is kind of upside down, topsy turvy, round around, like all kinds of crazy right now. Okay, which like I said at the beginning of the read is like a lot of people right now. So don't feel bad. Don't feel like this is something crazy. Again, don't don't overdo it. Don't manifest this to be more stressed than it actually is. If that makes sense. Okay. Um. But I feel like it might take a little bit of cunning. It might take a little bit of uh, changing your point of view, changing your perspective to really appreciate the place that you're at right now, if that makes sense. Um, and then we have the Four of Wands. I feel like this, the, the Four of Wands is like a celebration. I feel like it's very important that you know that with with the wheel of fortune right with the wheel it's a cycle everything happens in cycles right so i always talk about on my tiktok that like if you are at the top 
right? So say life is like a big like circle, right? If you're on the top, you know at some point you're going to be at the bottom, right? But if you're at the bottom, you know at some time you're going to be at, back at the top. So like it's just a constant wheel and just know that it's forever turning. You'll never be in one place forever. It'll always change. It will always um, grow and flow the energy, right? So just know that if you're in this like crazy energy right now, it's not going to last forever. There's going to be something that you're going to be celebrating very soon. I feel like maybe you've been thinking about this for a while. There's something that you've been wanting to do. I'm here and go for it, right? Think about it first, but go for it because it's going to be worth celebrating. Or maybe this is, I feel like for some of you, this is also something that's like kind of been a long time coming and this like, yeah, there we go. I heard a wrench, a wrench in your plans. Like there was a wrench in your plans. You were planning something big, maybe like a surprise or something. And like there's a wrench in your plans. It's still, it's still on. It's still popping just just know it's it's still gonna happen okay it just might not happen the way you thought it would but i feel like it could still work out and then with the hanged man what the hanged man is letting me know is like this is a huge time of transformation for you right now this is a huge period of transformation it's a huge period of enlightenment okay i feel like you possibly have been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities lately that are really pointing you in the direction of something so i would say your higher self wants you to know to like um focus on those things right when you are being sent those messages really tune into them and like get a deeper understanding of what it is because that's them you know that's your higher self communicating with you that's your angels your guides your higher power whatever you have you know that's communicating with you and trying to help you probably with all this crazy stuff trying to encourage you so it's important that you kind of listen to those signs and synchronicities and what they're trying to tell you okay all right i saw this deck i think we need this one let's see what else do you need to know what does your higher self want to tell you that one popped out self-discipline again i think there's something that you've been wanting to do or say to somebody and it might take a little bit of self-discipline to like get to the place where you feel comfortable to say that if that makes sense um i also noticed the christmas colors on here this could also be about financial discipline for some of you guys okay um i'm feeling for a lot of you guys actually financial discipline i feel like things have maybe been an array and that could include your finances um it's the holidays right now i feel like the economy is kind of whack low-key at the time of filming this obviously this is timeless so whenever you're seeing it you're supposed to but right now like the economy is low-key kind of whack so i think a lot of places are pushing to you know do all these black friday sales and it ain't even black friday and stuff like that just be um Make sure that you're not buying anything that you don't necessarily need. Like, don't be out here just spending in excess. Like, sure, treat yourself a little, but don't, don't get crazy with it. I have, I just heard hot and cold. I feel like you do this thing where you'll spend a whole bunch of money, and then you'll like stop for for a while, and you'll be like, oh, I can't spend any money because I, I just spent like a lot. Like, you're splurger is what I heard okay so kind of balance that out a little bit give yourself a little bit more um, discipline and then nature I feel like huh, interesting I feel like I heard nature like natural like in relation to this last card is like that might be something that kind of is like second nature to you and you don't really know how to get rid of it I feel like your parents could have been like that or that could have been a behavior that you learned a long long time ago and you've kind of always been like that but it really might take some self-discipline to get out of it also I'm getting nature that you guys need to eat more natural foods yes fruit especially I'm getting some of y'all need to like make some dietary changes fit more fruit into your diet okay 
Um, anything else from this deck? If not, I'll move on to the spell casting for our final message. No, nothing. Okay. What do we need to know from this one? Pile one's higher self. What do they need to know? Tuning into higher one or higher one, pile one. Maybe your throat chakra is a little wild. Clarity. Clarity. Like I said, I think you guys have been receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities and maybe you are kind of like ignoring them or not really understanding what they mean if so i feel like there is clarity waiting for you i feel like things are going to become a lot clearer um and i'm noticing like the roundness of this as i was kind of talking about the wheel earlier like thinking about things in cycles there's some kind of cycle that's happening and i feel like it's becoming more and more clear to you as time goes on okay um i just saw somebody kind of like stretching out maybe you need to get a little bit of rest also pay attention to your dreams i feel like there's going to be um very important messages from your higher self coming in through your dreams possibly other tarot readings maybe some of you guys need a tarot reading to kind of clarify some of these um some of these signs and synchronicities that you've been getting because like you're noticing them you just don't know how to decode them and if you're looking to do that i mean not that i'm biased but somebody i know is a tarot reader link is in my bio just hit me up on my instagram but in all seriousness, yeah, if there are some things that you're trying to decode, we can definitely um, look at that through tarot. Um, I've helped a lot of my clients kind of look through things. If I've helped you decode some stuff, comment down below, please. Hi, what's up? Um, but yeah. Interesting, yeah. And I do, I see like a woman in, in this. So that might be significant in some way. Maybe you're going to be receiving messages about a woman or from a woman. Okay. All right, pile one. I wish you guys well. If you guys need that tarot reading, hit your girl up. The link's going to be in my bio to my Instagram. And I will be talking to you very soon, I hope, to see what's going on um, with you and your higher self. Pile two. Hello. Hi. You chose the rose quartz. Um, this is like a worry stone. Um, it's funny because when I pulled the top card, like I wasn't meaning to read it, but this is the only one I think I actually read, and it was the lovers, which is interesting because obviously. I shuffle live and I don't know what's going to come out before, but Rose Quartz is, um, you know, related to the heart chakra and love and matters of the heart. So I'm interested to see how your reading might revolve around that. Um, let's see what your higher self wants you to know. Ten of Wands, it's in reverse. Six of Pentacles, the Hangman in reverse. Interesting. Okay, we have two Wands cards. We got a Major Arcana, some Pentacles. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a real quick second. With this Ten of Wands, I feel like you're, there's a lot of, it's interesting, this is kind of similar to the first pile. Maybe you chose the first pile too. I feel like there's a lot of like <clears throat> worries that you're having right now. There's a lot of responsibilities that you're carrying um, that you might not necessarily want or feel like is actually your problem. Like, I feel like you're carrying other people's problems is what I'm getting. 
There's a lot of like burdens that you're carrying from other people. Okay, and I feel like this is kind of like throwing you off. I feel like it's throwing you off balance. You don't feel like it's fair. I feel like you think that this is blocking your your own progression. Okay, you're kind of taking on other people's stuff. It's blocking your own progression. But what I am getting too with this hangman upright is like, you're seeing it, but you're still going along with it. So let's see, higher, tapping into these people's higher self. The queen of swords, okay. You need to speak up for yourself. You need to speak up for yourself. You can see this. You can see that somebody's kind of, I feel like people or there are multiple situations that are kind of taking advantage of you. And you're, you're, I heard hip to the jive. You're hip to the jive. You know exactly what's going on. You can see right through the BS. Okay. But I feel like over and over and over, you choose to just let it happen right but i feel like there's a lot of anger kind of building up in you and you might not realize it now but i feel like before long you're going to be very very upset about this this is something that's going to continue to eat away at you and i think that's where like the rose quartz kind of energy comes in it's like you kind of need to set some boundaries be able to show yourself a little bit more love than what you are now because you're kind of i'm like i'm getting that you're letting people trample over you and I think you think that you're being like this King of Cups. You think you're being like this benevolent person. Like, oh, I'm everybody's go-to, blah, 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 blah. No, they're taking advantage of you. They're taking advantage of you. Okay? So I'm not saying that whoever is doing this or whatever are like, is, I'm not saying that they're like bad people or whatever. I'm just saying you need to have a conversation with them. Have a conversation or start to say no a little bit more, right? Tell them no. Speak your mind. Question. I heard question. I feel like you always do everything. No questions asked. Like, but I feel like that's messing with you. Like, I think you're okay with it now, but it, it's just going to continue. If nobody knows this is how you feel, it's just going to continue, right? You're not speaking up for yourself. It's going to start to drag you down. It's going to start to ruffle your feathers. Okay? Let me see what this Ace of Pentacles is. I feel like... I think I know what it might be, but... Let's... Oop. Interesting. That is the card that I saw. I feel like um you're gonna get something I feel like you're gonna you're going to be given a gift some type of gift somebody's giving you something this could be monetary okay this could be a monetary gift this could just be like I don't know a nice a nice gift from somebody but I feel like they've been wanting to give it to you for a while Okay. With the Four of Swords, I feel like with the Four of Swords, like, I just feel like this, it's like, it could be, this could be like karma coming to you, even. This could be like karma, your karma paying off type of thing. But for some of you, it definitely is a physical gift. For some of you, it's going to be like a karmic thing, like, some seeds that you've sown karmically are being, you know, harvested. But for some of you, it's going to be a, a physical gift. Somebody's going to give you something. This Maybe this could come in a form of like a sign or synchronicity, right, from your higher self. But I feel like this is only once you kind of speak up for yourself leadership there we go i feel like you're needing to take 
on some kind of leadership role or possibly this gift this could be with this gift this could be a promotion or something like that I think once you kind of speak up and step into a leadership role perhaps maybe you've been kind of like looked over for a promotion time and again or something like that okay environment personal growth yeah environment I heard work environment I feel like there's something either in your work environment or like in your family life I feel like it's just it could there could be some improvements right and that could be where you're taking on so much of these burdens that are not really yours right you're kind of dealing with other people's stuff um, you might need to move soon, okay? You might need to have a change of your environment. All right, the number 44 might be significant to you. The number seven might be significant to you. Um, personal growth. I feel like this is a huge lesson for you that you're learning, not to take on so many other people's burdens and how to speak up for yourself, how to step into these leadership roles and not let people like run over you. It's something that is going to cause you to do a lot of growing. And I think after that growth or during that growth is when you're receiving this gift. Let me know how that resonates for y'all. Life purpose. Interesting. So I feel like this is all, it all seems kind of like career driven a little bit. I feel like once you step up for yourself, once you speak up for yourself, once you, I heard show up for yourself, like once you are kind of like not really letting people take advantage of you and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying to go in to your job and like yell at your boss and whatever, do all that kind of crazy stuff. No, no, no. I'm just talking about asserting yourself speaking up for yourself, doing what's right, doing what's fair um, to you, because I feel like you haven't really been fair to you. Um, and then I think once you start to do all of those things, if you've been having some trouble with your life purpose or maybe your career, like I feel like all of that is going to start to fall into place. And I think this this is the gift that's happening. Maybe this has been kind of delayed. There's some kind of career move or some kind of financial um thing that you've been waiting for and I think this is really the trigger to allowing that to happen right um is to kind of speak up for yourself okay so your higher self wants you to know your life purpose it's all going to make sense like I feel like it's all going to come into focus right now it's probably not in focus but it will start to once you start to kind of like speak up for yourself and I'm also getting that if if you do it, even in baby steps, like, I feel like you're going to be shown very soon. So, like, if you're doing this the right way, everything career-wise is going to start to just make sense. And so you'll know exactly what this is once you start to kind of do it a little bit, if you don't know off the top of your head. Okay? So, that was your message, my pile twos. If you guys would like a personal reading, please let me know. Um, DM me on Instagram and we can take a look into any of your situations, um, decode any messages, get in contact with your angels, guides, whatever you're trying to do. Let me know. Okay, and then we have pile three. Pile three, modern witch, tarot deck. And we have the amethyst. It's really light amethyst. It's not the darkest or purplest, but I still really like it. Okay, let's see what your higher self oop, wants to let you know. Pile three. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. temperance oh okay this is all about patience 
your higher self is asking you to have patience in some situation. I feel like you are waiting for something to happen or you're waiting on some kind of news. You're waiting to find something or understand the meaning of something. And there, your higher self is really, excuse me, your higher self is really causing you or uh, calling you to have patience. Like just, just, just a little bit longer. Okay. Like just stay there is what I heard. Just stay there. I don't know who that's going to resonate with. Maybe there's a move that you're trying to make and it's not really working out. I think they're just telling you like, that's a sign. Like just, just stay there for a second. Okay. I feel like, um, maybe your intuition, you're not trusting it. I feel like maybe there are signs, synchronicities, things that have been coming to you and you're not trusting it. You don't trust it. You're, I, I saw like this card being thrown, like you're just discarding it. You're not, you're disregarding a lot of these signs, synchronicities, whatever. Like I heard you want to jump the gun about something, right? And especially with this chariot. Okay, let me clarify the chariot real quick and see. I feel like something's happening fast. What is it? Interesting. We had the Four of Swords in the last pile. <laughs> I feel like whatever answers it is that you're looking for, they're coming in fast. Okay? There's something that maybe you've been losing sleep over. Um, there's something that maybe you've been very worried about, dwelling on, confused about. But this message is coming in clear. Um, and it's coming in quickly. But what I want you to know, and what your higher self wants you to know, is this might not be the, the outcome that you're expecting from this. Okay? This might not be the outcome that you were expecting. Like, I feel like you're really wanting something to happen. Like, you're really wanting to know about something because you think it's going to be a certain way. But come to find out, it's really not like that. Ooh, yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm Wow. Interesting. Okay. So I feel like you have your hopes up about something. You have your hopes up about something. I feel like maybe you've been praying for something. You've been really, really wanting something for a very long time. And I just, I'm not saying you're not going to get it. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what your higher self is saying. I think this just isn't going to come to you in the way that you thought it would. Um, if this is a relationship, this, this might be a relationship matter. It just might not turn out the way that you thought it would, right? I also heard that somebody might not be who you thought they were. Let me get some more clarification on that. What is this thing? Do we have any more on this? Okay, so that was reversed and then it fell upright. So I feel like, okay, so I feel like you're not going to get what it is that you... It might not be what you thought it was going to be, whatever this is that you're waiting on or, you know, something. I feel like you've just been suspecting that something will happen or expecting something will happen. It's not going to be what you thought and you're not going to get it in the way that you thought, right? I feel like you might be kind of like, eh, what? This? I waited for this? Um, <laughs> but I feel like it's going to end up being even better than what you wanted, Okay. So just keep that in mind. So when it comes to you, when, you know, after you're patient, I know I said it's coming fast, but you know that time is very relative. So whatever this is that's coming in for you, whether it be a message that you're waiting for, some kind of sign or synchronicity to make sense for you, some kind of message, something like that, um, it's not going to come in in the way you thought it would. It's not going to come when you thought it would. But when it does come in, it's going to be better than what you expected. Okay. 
Yes. It's going to be even better. Your cup is going to overflow. Your cup is going to runneth over. Do you see this? Yes. So do not. So when it when it comes out and it's like, oh, this is it. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Your higher self wants you to know to be grateful for what this is because the way that you wanted it wasn't the best way for you. Health. There there might be something, this might be something regarding your health. Okay? Something that you thought something was one way and this block or the the way that it's not working out could be for your health. Okay, in some way, it could be in a way protecting your health or because the way it might not, excuse me, it might not be working out the way you thought because of your health. Okay, spiritual partnership. Very interesting. Okay, so maybe I'm getting that maybe some of you are really wanting to hear from somebody, really wanting to manifest somebody very specific but either what they're going to tell you is not what you want to hear or it's not going to be the person who you thought it was but just know that whoever it does end up working out with is more of a soulmate than that other person you know what i'm saying there is a little bit of love stuff going on in here and I heard, I heard, listen to your intuition. Um, also meditate. I feel like, um, meditate on your crown chakra. That might be really beneficial for you at this time. Okay. Let's get our last message for what you need to know from your higher self. Whew. Happiness. Yeah. So I feel like you have some um, changes. There's a change or two happening. And I feel like you might not be expecting it or you are expecting it. But not in the way it's about to happen. But I feel like in the end, everything is going to work out for the best. And you have to know that. So just know when everything starts to, I feel like it might have started already. Like it might be going kind of like whack and you're like, um, this is not what I ordered. Like, I did not order this. Well, who who asked for this? Um, Just know that it's working out for your best good. It's working out for your highest good. This is how it's supposed to be. Okay? And you're going to be happier than you ever would have been with your own plan. Right? So, that wraps up your message, Pile 3. I hope that was insightful for you. Um, Let me know in the comments how this resonated for you. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what kinds of situations you guys have going on out there. Um, if you guys would like a tarot reading, please DM me on my Instagram page and we could get something set up. If you want to look further into this situation or any other situation, let me know. Um, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.